Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trigger a Lambda function whenever a new file is uploaded to S3 bucket. So this is what we need. We want uh, to trigger a Lambda function when a file is uploaded to S3 bucket. Okay. So uh, this can be uh, use, uh, useful when you want to process the data whenever it is uploaded to S3 or in many other use cases. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create an S3 bucket and a Lambda function and we're going to create uh, configure this S3 bucket in such a way that whenever a file is uploaded to this bucket, it is going to trigger this uh, Lambda function. Now this lambda function can have uh, any code that you wish to have uh, in this video We're going to uh, have a code which will print out the name of the file that got uploaded and the contents of the file that are uploaded So yeah, let's get started and uh, see how to do this Okay, I am in my uh, AWS management console. Let me go to uh, s3 console first So this is the bucket. We are going to configure you to demo tutorial uh, bucket Okay, we will configure this bucket in such a way that whenever a file is uploaded to this bucket, it will trigger the lambda function. So in the bucket, click on properties here. In the properties, if you scroll to the bottom, you will find something called events here. So this is where you configure your uh, target based on S3 events. Here in events, click on add notification and you can specify the event name that you want and so these are the different types of events for your s3 bucket it can be a put copy delete or whatever okay so based on which event do you want to trigger the lambda so we we'll, uh, want to select this put event this put basically corresponds to the upload uh, function okay so whenever we upload this put event occurs in s3 so we'll select that and uh, so and we will uh, select this lambda function as a target so first uh, so this is how it is done so first let's go and create a lambda function and then come back here and configure this uh, event rule here okay so let me open my lambda console first i am in my uh, aws lambda console in the lambda uh, console click on create function here and i'm going to author from scratch function name i will give something like s3 event res okay and <laughs> I'll select Python in the permissions uh, basically I need permission to uh, read that s3 object because I want to print the contents of that file okay so basically I need the s3 get object permissions uh, if you already have an IAM role which has an s3 get object permissions in your account you can uh, select that or you can uh, click on this create a new role from policy templates okay there is one uh, policy template which readily grants access to that here click search for s3 okay if you search for s3 you will find this amazon s3 object read only permissions select that okay so we are going to add that uh, template to our uh, role and yeah and role name i'm going to give uh, a lambda you can name it whatever you want okay so that is about the permissions and click on create function okay our uh, lambda function is created uh, let's go to the function code and start adding our code here. So I already have the code uh, ready for this uh, requirement. So basically this is what we are going to do. We are, uh, since our S3 event is going to trigger this lambda, into this event we will get uh, these parameters. Let me show you that uh, how the event looks like when we uh, invoke this lambda from S3 put event. Okay, here uh, in the lambda, if you click on test here, you can basically see how uh, the event looks like when we trigger the lambda so we are triggering the lambda from amazon s3 put if you click on this so this is how uh, the event parameter will be passed to the lambda whenever a file is uploaded to s3 okay and we are triggering the lambda from s3 put uh, event so we will have this uh, kind of event so from this event we will uh, get the bucket name and the key uh, okay and we will print the contents of that okay let me close this Okay, so from the event, uh, we will get the bucket name and uh, the key and we are decoding that key here and we will print the message called uh, like, uh, hey, this this file got uploaded to this bucket name and then we will uh, upload a JSON file uh, basically. So we are, we are decoding the JSON file here and then we will print the contents of that JSON file. So this is what we are going to do in this Lambda function. Just print the you know, name of the file that got uploaded and the contents of the file that are uploaded. You can have any logic uh, in this code. Basically, if you want to store this data into some other S3 bucket, uh, you can uh, uh, code that here. Okay, let me copy this and paste it in my Lambda. Okay, and paste it and click on save. 
okay so my s3 uh, uh, sorry my lambda is saved now let me go to uh, my s3 console now here we will configure that uh, event okay in the properties scroll to the bottom and click on events here when you click on events here uh, click on add notification in the name i i'm going to give like my put event you can name it whatever you want and i'm going to select this put event because i want to trigger the lambda based on uh, put and i'm going to leave this prefix and suffix empty but these are basically uh, to like if you want to trigger the lambda when only a file with this prefix is uploaded then you can select this and if you want to trigger the lambda only when a file with this suffix is uploaded you can select this okay i'm going to leave it as it is and send to I'm going to select the lambda function so basically you can trigger an sns topic or sqsq or a lambda function based on this event i'm going to select lambda function here so in this drop down i'm going to select the lambda that we just created okay that is s3 event response and click on save okay so once that is saved you can see that there is one active notification here okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to upload a json file to this bucket and see if uh, it triggers a lambda Okay, click on upload here and add files and I'm going to select this json dot json data and click on upload okay so now my file is successfully uploaded to this bucket now let's go to lambda and check uh, if it triggered the lambda and if the lambda printed out this uh, contents of this file okay let's go to lambda now Okay, in my lambda if you see now here a trigger got added uh, the s3 trigger after we saved that uh, event in the s3 that got added to this lambda so basically this means that there is a trigger uh, for this lambda from s3 okay so now let's go to this monitoring tab and see if this lambda got triggered based on that uh, upload that we just did so uh, click on this monitoring tab here to see the logs of that uh, lambda okay and if you scroll down if you can see the recent invocations here okay so this got uh, invoked recently based on our uh, s3 upload event i'll click on that and let's see the logs of that recent run in our cloud watch okay so if you see here it printed out like uh, hey this file got i mean json data dot json got uploaded to this bucket and these are the contents of contents of this uh, file uh, okay so this is the json file that i had uploaded okay first name last name age profession it had okay only those variables if you see that it printed out the contents of that file so yeah that's it for this video guys uh, this is how to configure your s3 bucket and in such a way that it triggers a lambda function when a file is uploaded to this bucket okay so that's it for this video and hope you like the video if you like the video uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the like button for this video. Thank you.